The stage is set for formation of a new government in India's Jammu and Kashmir. Four independent MLAs have decided to back the National Conference-led alliance. This as former Chief Minister Omar Abdullah was unanimously elected as the head of the National Conference's Legislative Party. The National Conference has won 42 seats in the 90-member assembly with a majority mark of 46. The Indian National Congress, who fought the election in alliance with the National Conference, has bagged six seats. However, with the support of four independent MLAs, the National Conference has got a majority on its own and is not bound to rely on the Congress party. The independent lawmakers' support to the NC has also reduced the Congress party's bargaining power in the alliance. However, the National Conference is still awaiting a letter of support from the Congress to stake claim to form the next government. Well, this will be the first government in the former state since losing its special status and becoming a union territory in 2019. And well, for more on this, our special correspondent Idris Loan is joining us live from Srinagar. Hi, Idris. Omar Abdullah and the National Conference uh, have been bolstered by the support of four independent MLAs. Uh, with this, the National Conference has the support of 46 lawmakers uh, helping the party cross the majority mark. Uh, what we're learning right now is that talks are going on to get the letter of support from the Congress party. Tell us more. Well, uh, Rahesha, our sources in the National Conference tell us that Dr. Farooq Abdullah has just a while ago spoken to Rahul Gandhi, uh, and Rahul Gandhi has assured him that they will send the uh, support letter uh, by today evening. Uh, there's a meeting that will happen at the Congress headquarters in Srinagar at around 2.30, uh, after which we are being told that the state president of the Congress, uh, which is Tariq Hamid Kara, will go to Umar Abdullah's residence and uh, give them the uh, support, uh, supporting letter. Uh, and later on, they'll go to the lieutenant governor's residence uh, where they uh, they will ask, uh, they'll stake their claim for the government formation. Uh, but at the moment, what we are also hearing from our sources is that Congress has been negotiating, has been asking for two cabinet berths and a post of speaker. A national conference is not very keen on giving two cabinet berths to them. Because in the Union Territory, there are only eight cabinet berths. And that's one of the reasons that National Conference has been asking Congress since they've come with only six. Right, right, Idris. We were talking about here that with the support of four independent MLAs, the National Conference has got a majority on its own, taking the number to 46, which is, uh, uh, which is well above the majority mark that is needed to form a government. And the National Conference Party is not bound to rely on Congress at the moment. Our uh, special correspondent, Idris Sloan, was just telling us uh, that the NC chief, Farooq Abdullah has just got a confirmation that the Congress party will be sending the consent and the support letter by today.